Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to look at creating an IPART uh, and using a custom parameter. Uh, it could be a value that you put in, or it could be between a range, um, and it can also be an increment value. Uh, so I'm just going to start off now with creating a new part. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is just put in a rectangular section of 20 by 10 mil bar. I'll just extrude that by 10. Uh, I could have done this before, but I'm I'm just going to do it now. Uh, I'm just going to rename these parameters as well to make it easier when I'm setting up my eye part. Okay, so we're going to call it height, width, and length. If I go to the Manage tab and we go to Create Eye Part, okay, in here uh, we can rename the member um, for when we then place that into the an, into an assembly. So if I just for now, I'll just call it Flat Bar, um, because when we actually place the eye part, we can rename it uh, on placement. And again, I'll just call this Flat Bar. So here's the clever part now. Uh, we've got this length column that we've brought through. Uh, if it wasn't there, uh, you can, it would just appear like that. You can select them and it will then bring that through. Okay. Uh, so we select the column and we can right click and go to custom parameter column. It will then change the color of the field. And we can then right click and have it at the moment as a custom parameter column. So like I said earlier, uh, it will just be a value that you can um, type in. It can be any value. Uh, we can specify a range and also we can specify an increment. Uh, in this exercise, I'm just gonna set it specify increment um, and then it will give you an increment length. If I say uh, 10 mil increments, if we hit okay, okay, we've then got that flat bar member in there. Uh, and we can just save this and I'll save it as flat bar. Okay, if I then create an assembly, and I'll go to place the part in, which we've got there, flat bar. Okay, so it's picking up there, uh, the part number is flat bar, and we've got a length here. This is where You'll see then it's going in the increments of what I've set every 10 mil. Okay, these won't change because I've only specif specified one value and, and not for it to be a custom parameter. Um, and this is where at the moment it's going to rename it as flat bar one. Again, we could browse and we can save this bar as flat bar 100 mil. And we can make that. 100. We could also type in a value. Uh, you'll notice if I type in a value of 95 and hit enter, it will round it up to the 10. If I, if I, for instance, was to say 94, it would round it down to 90. Okay, so I'll just put 95 in there and it rounds it up to 100. And then I can hit OK and save that. And that now is 100 mil. Okay, you'll notice then it's still bringing through uh, the part as an eye part, but here you've got the flexibility to create one row uh, in an eye part, and you can completely customize you know, th for something like this, just the length parameter in there, rather than having to create incremental values in, in each individual row, you can just create, have one parameter, and have that parameter uh, be customized.